this is yet, what you are seeing is a new piece of microscopic footage showing bacteria, single-celled bacteria, actually reaching out something similar to what you could uh, say was a, a harpoon or an arm, snatching up a piece of DNA, which is what uh, you're seeing in the red here, and swallowing it. And this is a first of its kind recording. And so this astonishing new video uh, showing this bacterium reaching out into space, snatching a piece of DNA is for the first time ever showing how microbes evolve. And it's the first observation of bacteria using appendages called pili to quote unquote harpoon loose pieces of DNA and then incorporating it back into the bacteria's own genetic structure. And this little recording here shows how single-celled organisms pull off a neat little trick called horizontal gene transfer that allows them the ability to adapt quickly to new environments. And so to put that in layman's terms, say you are a person who has allergies. I have allergies in the summer. You have pollen floating around making you sneeze. So what do you do? You reach out and you grab a piece of flesh or DNA from a friend of yours who doesn't have allergies. And you take that piece from his body, you stuff it in your mouth, you eat it, and then suddenly you are now impervious to the pollen around you and you no longer have allergies. And that is exactly what is happening here with this bacteria snatching a piece of stray DNA in order to grow and evolve. Now, if you watch that video with Secure Team, it is talking about a single cell. A single cell, this is what we are made of, prokaryotic cells. All other races are made of eukaryotic cells, which is mixed cells. This is why they say that we evolved from monkeys, but we don't because we don't have any animal blood. All other races have monkey blood, they have mosquito blood, wolf blood, muskrat. They have all, they have extra 223 genes, which is unnatural to be on this planet. Now, if you have, if you haven't noticed, but I'm going to tell you this, in case you haven't noticed, this is why Barack Obama did all this shit over in Syria, this, that, and the third. This is why the slave trade and this is why organ harvesting has, in, has dramatically increased, in particular in the United States too here, my people, Michigan, Chicago, just, just today, it, it was a report that they found the black young girls with their organs missing because black woman, you are the key. Right now, the universe, the universe is evolving and it, it, by the universe evolving is all the planets on a, all the planets and the universe is evolving to a higher frequency. So all these man-made diseases, all these man-made HIV, syphilis, diabetes, all that shit, everything that was man-made is now that, that, that our bodies was attracting. Our bodies are now kicking that shit the fuck out of here because it's all unnatural. This is why it's so important for this entity to keep your body toxified and, and on a low alkaline diet. Have your body completely fucking acidic all the way to, to to your root chakra so that way that your body so that way that your body can continue to build up inflammation which build up mucus which makes your body acceptable to all diseases but now black woman because the universe is evolving your womb is evolving so all the creations and the star seeds that are coming out right now their vessels are adapting to this shit and pushing that shit out this is why in parts of africa people not even catching eggs anymore this is why they organ harvesting and they organ harvesting and motherfucking uh what they call that um uh slave trafficking not slave trafficking organ harvesting and uh human trafficking they don't we, Organ harvesting and human trafficking at a very, very high, high level. In this particular, with the women and the and the babies, and it's all majority of it is black. They, they don't need no one else but us because we are the we are the gods of this planet. Point blank and simple. And black woman, you are the key to life. Now, I hope this message get out to you, and I truly, truly love you, my people. I really don't want to see none of my queen goddesses, man. Y'all, y'all going to these targets and WalMarts. If you go to fucking a Walmart, you know what's insulting about this shit? Cause you go to fucking a Walmart, they got a whole big a uh, wall full of missing people on there with a reward up there for thirteen thousand. Your same motherfuckers that's kidnapping you and taking you in the basement and the underground tunnels is the same motherfuckers putting your picture up on the wall talking about missing. <laughs> These motherfuckers is sick, people. See, this is the shit I'm talking about. 
the sick shit that these motherfuckers are into, man. Yo, I love you, my people. Peace, love, and light to all the queen goddesses, to all the beautiful, lovely star seeds, to all my fellow king gods who see the god in me. I see you. I love you. Your blood cells are changing. Your blood cells is evolving. So why don't you evolve right along with it? Alkaline your body. I love you.